Hi guys, this is Dahlia with Pink Scrapping Diva Blogspot.com. I know I haven't done a video in a while since March, I think. But um, last year was a little crazy year for me. I've moved out from two different states within the year. So I was from Florida to Massachusetts, Massachusetts to Florida. And practically my um, scrapbooking supplies was in storage. For part of the year so I just recently got a place in Florida and I'm going back slowly into scrapbooking and um, I want to show you what I did I'm working with Project Life now well, I started Project Life um, on September or last year because everybody was talking about it and um, I always say, no, that's not for me, that's not for me, but then I keep looking at the layouts and I really like the the way you could or use the page protectors, the divider press protectors. So on September, I said, well, let me try from September to December and see if I like it. I really like it. So now I started on week 42 all the way to 2012. I'm still behind a couple of weeks, but I could um, work on that because I don't... I'm taking the project life approach in a different way. I'm not that it has to be a picture a day and every picture has to be dated with Monday, Tuesday. No, I, I do weekly, two weekly spreads and I do two layout and sometimes pictures are from the whole week. Sometimes pictures are only from Saturday and Sunday because that's when I practically do stuff because I work Monday to Friday from 9 to 5 and when I get home, it's little that I could do, and it's the same thing every day. So most of my pictures are practically from weekend. Uh, so that last year, I tried it, and I liked this, so I decided to um, do it again this year from the beginning. And we're already on week three. I'm working on it, but what I'm going to show you today is the cover that I did um, for this year. First, I'm going to show you the cover that I did for last year because it's completely different. Last year, I didn't really put too much work into it because I would say, well, I want to see if I like it. And I just put so, a little stuff together and that's it. But this year, I um, got inspired by another YouTuber, which I will share the name in a few. And I liked it the way she did hers and I decided to do mine. Some like her, but really there's nothing like her because it's completely different. It's just what she used and the pay layout, that's it. So this is last year. Last year, um, for July, like I say, our weekend started 42 in September. So um, it's not, it doesn't fit completely. So um, I just used last year, I used the, the cover that brings the page protector that brings. Um, six four by six and this one are um, we are memory keeper I use a combination of we are memory keepers and Becky Higgins that's the only thing I buy from Becky Higgins I use mustache or I used uh, I subscribe to two project life the Citrus Twist project life kit and the Studio Calico project life kit which I subscribe to main and project life so that's what I use for um my um, layouts, I don't use the Becky Higgins cards, only the page protectors because she has different variety and I like variety of mine. So anyway, for last year, I just used the Tim Holtz um, Shabby Cheek paper pad and I cut it in 4x6. Then I used some thickers, the glitter thickers, and I used some... Um, I am roses butterflies with bees in it and I did 2012 and I put the glass flowers that we use a lot in the mini album so I put them there um, I use them here too this is from a collection from I can't remember right now but it's a collection paper that I have it's a baby collection and I use it that because it says memories and that's what we record here, me everyday memories. But I don't remember who is that. 
and then um, here I put every picture and then I use the, my tag maker and then put total story um, these letters they are like really thicker but they're not thicker I bought that pack in, in Target one time and then I use one of the recollection butterflies as you all know I love butterflies so I always try and incorporate them in everything I do um, anybody like do pictures of the family on the front page I don't want to do that because I mean this album is full of my family's pictures so I want to do something cute and different so um, last year the party people was very hot I mean they still are but you know that was the trend so I used um, two of the girls and myself and my daughter and then I did one of the guys which is my son which in the new album he's not because he moved out of home already and then here was the in the middle of here she was the new addition of the house that's my dog she's a shih tzu and here I put remember fabulous good time and again two um, I am roses butterfly with some um, beads in the middle sorry for the glaze, glaze but it's hard not to get it with this picture. So anyway, this was last year um, cover. So this year I was watching um, YouTube and um, I love um, Faith Abigail design. I love her her layouts. Um, she everything she does she does it with a Cricut, and she did uh, her cover page. Is she did utilizing, um, utilizing the Cricut, so it gave me an idea for me to use mine, which I don't use it as much. So in this one, I use a lot of Cricut cuts and cam and a few Cameo cuts. I use more Cricut than Cameo. I think Cameos I have three or four, and the rest was Cricut and die cuts. So um, first, it's a six by twelve insert. Let me show you there. And um, the paper collection that I use is a close to my heart Pemberley Workshop on the go. Um, I had this collection since um, last year. That's the name of it. And um, when I signed on last year to close to my heart, when the um, sign in for the art philosophy cartridge. So I I got that collection and I love the color combination is the the gold, the beige, the blue and I couldn't find something nice to use it. So I decided to use it for my cover page this year. So that's one of the papers in the back um for that collection. I use um the Team Hor Team Hor's um hanging sign. The hanging sign die cut. I cut it with um, all the papers from the collection and then make a fabulous life that's a cameo cut that I bought in the silhouette store um, the sign I run it through my um, big shot no through my cutter bug um, using the stamping up perfect pocket dot um, impression folder and then I use some um, pearls from the Michael um, Dollar Bin that I have in my stash forever. Um, this cut right here, this cut is from Our Philosophy. And the D is from the Tie the Knot cartridge. And then these little flowers is from um, the same collection from Close to My Heart. Is the bouquet assortment for the primary collection, so it all match. And um, I put one there. This dress form is the Team Hor um, sewing. The dress form die. It's there. I put some um, lace, some flat back purse, and then I put a cameo on the front. Um, this flowers are from the dollar bin and Michael with the pearl and then two of those little flowers from um, close to my heart in it 
and then I put some recollection bling so this is how um, the insert of the cover page look like then when you turn it this is what you see on this side and um, here I use a fancy frame the fancy frame um, cartridge and I use this cut right here and then I put around some flat back purse and then I stamp um, the same there with um, where is the stamp set and I use um, the Cloud9 design clear stamp and it's the one that's called it's not focusing uh, simple thought memories and it says life is not measured by the moments numbers of breath sorry we take but by the moments that take our breath away I thought that was a cute quote about life and that's what the project is about about the life so that's the insert of it and then the actual cover page is this one. Let's see if I could so you can see it completely there you go okay so that's the actual cover page um, here I use this welcome cut is from the cartridge sentimental I cut it at five and a half um, the 2013 is a cameo cut that I got from my silver in the silver store. This is some um, recollection bling over here, and there you go. Over here, I have some of the recollection butterflies, and another one here. And then um, these little flowers are. From they are by Petalu, and they are flora embellishment. They have no um from the Shan. Let's see if focus there. From the Chantilly Chantilly collection, I've been having this in my stash for a long time, and I never use it, and it match that collection perfectly. So I decided to use it there. Um, over here, I did a, a silhouette cut from the Forever Young cartridge, which represents me. And then I put my name here, and that is a, a silhouette. Um, I did that in my, with a silhouette using the fonts in my computer. Um, the 45 represent the years that I'll be this year will be 45 and then um, here is one of um, a flare button that I got um, I don't know if I got it in one of the kids or I bought it from Etsy I don't know because I have a, a every flare that I get in my collections or that I buy I just throw them here so I really then I love you know I don't know where it's coming from but it's either from a collection from one of the kids or Studio Calico or Citrus Twist or I bought them myself so I don't know where it's coming from but it says happy and then this cutout is um, from this collection that I bought at Juan from oh, <coughs> It's from Antique Papery Color Block and it's a good punch out pack and I bought the hot collection because I like the colors, the blues and the creams and the brown. So I bought the whole collection, the paper pad, the pad for um for the punch outs, the doodads and all that. So that is from there. The live is beautiful. I put it there because this this project is about our life. Over here, 
I cut um, this little girl from the paper doll tin scene cartridge from this one and um, that represent my daughter and the numbers represent the age um, she will be this year and her name is Hilani and then um, these um, little stickers are from my mind's eye Oops. There you go. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Uh, for my mind's eye, the sweetest thing is not this one, but it's just the same um, paper. So those little words come from these little stickers from my mind's eye. And it says cute, sweet, silly, because she's a silly girl sometimes, and one of a kind. So that represents my baby girl. And then this cutie down here is represent our puppy. I have a Shih Tzu, like I said, but I, I don't have a cartridge. They have a uh, Shih Tzu. The only one that I have is this one, a uh, uh, Poodle from the Forever Summer in Paris cartridge. But I decided to go with this one because that's cuter. And that puppy is from Sweetheart, from the Sweetheart cartridge, and so is the um, Puppy Love. And then her name is Negrita, and she will be one this year in a couple of months. So that's how I decided to do my, um, my, um, cover for this year. It's completely different. I put a lot of work into it. It was fun doing it. I like it because it represents more my style of scrapping. They just, you know, have it so simple. I like things very embellished, heavy embellished. If you see my videos on my uh, mini albums, you know, I like to go all out in my embellishments. So that's why I decided to do it this way. Right? And thanks to um, Faith Avigary Design, I will put her link at the, at the bottom in the description so you, you could go check her out. She do amazing layouts. Everything you see in her Cricut. Gorgeous um, layout she does. And so that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's been a while but hopefully this year I'll be more active as I'll get my scrap room back together. Right now I'm in the process of organizing I'm just gonna, just gonna give you a peek of it so you can see the mess that I have of trying to organize but once I have it organized I'll give a, a room tour well it's not actually a room tour because I live in a two bedroom apartment and um, my room is huge and I'm dividing my room and half is going to be my scrap space, scrap area, and the other half is going to be my bedroom. So once I have it all set the way I want it, I'll give a scrap space um, tour with everything that I have. So um, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I'll come back. I will have another video shortly, but it's going to be like a mini haul that I did at Michael yesterday. And... Um, Thank you for watching and see you next time.